And it's not just the election. The president caught a lot of flack for bailing on the wreath-laying ceremony in France on Saturday. And Trump told aides he thought he looked terrible and blamed his chief of staff's office for not counseling him that skipping the cemetery visit would be a public relations nightmare. <laughs> Look, why didn't you tell me that not honoring fallen soldiers on Veterans Day would make me look bad? <laughs> now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna stick my tongue in that light socket. Nobody talk till I've done it. Trump's also getting criticized for his latest hire, acting attorney general and roid rage lima bean, <laughs> Matt Whitaker. <laughs> We're learning some interesting stuff about Whitaker's past. For instance, uh, his uh, 2014 run for the GOP Senate nomination in Iowa. Now, he lost, but while campaigning, here's what he said was uh, criteria for his judges. I'd like to see things like their worldview, what informs them, what, how have they lived their lives? Are they people of faith? Um, do they have a biblical view of justice? Which I think is very important because we all know that our government... Levitical or New Testament? Huh? I'm a New Testament. <laughs> uh, and, 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 and what I know is, is, is as long as, as, as they have that worldview, that they'll be a good judge. In the opinion of the present Attorney General of the United States, if you're not a Christian, you won't be a good judge. But it's right there in the Constitution. Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of a religion, yada, 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 what would Jesus do? <laughs> now, I want to warn... <laughs> Constitution lovers. Constitution fans. Right there in the house. I want to warn our viewers uh, that have allergies that this next headline is nuts. <laughs> because today, we learned that the acting attorney general of these United States, Matthew Whitaker, is steeped in time travel and Bigfoot. <laughs> now, before we go any further, I just want to say that there's serious debate over whether Whitaker's appointment is unconstitutional and might obstruct justice. But tonight, Daddy, don't give a damn. I want to talk about time traveling Bigfoot, man. Because <laughs> here's the deal. Whitaker, this is true, Whitaker was a paid advisor and hot tub pitchman for a company called World Patent Marketing. Well, in 2013, Whitaker's company claimed to have DNA evidence proving that Bigfoot <laughs> exists. Now, quick aside. I worked for The Daily Show uh, way back in the day, even before Jon Stewart, in the Craig Kilburn era. And we miss you, Craig. And back then, I interviewed a lot of Bigfoot enthusiasts, okay? For instance, uh, once I interviewed a guy who said uh, that Bigfoots were endangered and we had to uh, have uh, breeding pairs brought together and breed them in captivity to save the species. Wow. Another time, I interviewed a guy who said that there were too many Bigfoot, they were overpopulating, and we had to cull the herds <laughs> to save the species. Now, fun fact, I interviewed those guys on the same day, <laughs> and uh, either one of them would make a better attorney general than Matt Whitaker. <laughs> because... <laughs> because... I know they both believed it. Whitaker might have just been cashing a check to push this bull because he was on the paid advisory board of this company that was so all in on Bigfoot, they had a website selling Bigfoot paraphernalia and planned a celebrity event called You Have Been Squatched. <laughs> but Whitaker wasn't just working for Bigfoot hucksters. They were also selling a time machine which they said could be possible, perhaps within the next decade, suggesting users might relive moments from your past or visit your future. It is possible. Mm. It, is, it is possible. Marty Let's McFly. visit the future together. Okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> and here we are. Wow! Wow! I didn't see me hosting this show. <laughs> now, you might wonder, how could anyone fall for such an odorous pile of Bigfoot poop? Well, there's a video, which has a lot of text in it, um, that they use to, to sell the idea of time travel. Uh, so I'm going to read the text aloud for you uh, as we show it. Jim? What if... 
Time travel wasn't just an idea, but a reality. What would you do? Which way would you go? Would you relive moments from your past? Or visit your douchebag future? <laughs> Step into the fourth dimension. Wall Street said we couldn't do it. Also, Science Street, Engineering Street, <laughs> Physics Street, and the Federal Trade Commission, because... All the streets. Because, again, this Whitaker's company was shut down for defrauding investors out of $26 million. So, this has all been fun, right? Bigfoot, uh, time travel, fraud. You can't ask for more. <laughs> and yet, the Matt Whitaker giveth. Because I invite you now to join me in viewing the best product the new Attorney General of the United States ever helped sell the world the extra deep masculine toilet for the well endowed. <laughs> Lord, I don't know what I did to deserve Matthew Whitaker. <laughs> but I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of my I now see feminine toilet. <laughs> the idea behind this actual patent application, supported by, again, the Attorney General of the United States, is that well endowed men would dip a, let's say, toe in the water of a regular toilet. And here's the actual patent application drawing showing that on the manly throne, the distance between the rim and the water is at least 12 inches. <laughs> now, to the men out there, if you need this toilet, you're not extra masculine. You are in need of medical attention. <laughs> Either that or you're Bigfoot. <laughs> And this whole thing, this whole thing was just a clever plan to lure Sasquatch out of the woods with a promise of a toilet that would finally accommodate his mighty sequoia. You've been squatched. All true. All true. Not making any of this up. I also want to point out that whenever I try to Google, say, hints for the new Zelda game at work, I get blocked by the CBS firewall. But this morning, and this is true, the writers working on this part of the script Googled world's longest penis? No problem. <laughs> also, congratulations to Jonah Falcone of Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> Contact the attorney general about a toilet that might be right for you. Here's their description of, again, the masculine toilet. They say the average male genitalia is between five and six inches. However, this invention is designed for those of us who measure longer than that. Did you catch that? Those of us. Oh, oh, did I let the cat out of the bag? By the way, it's the size of a cat. You don't want to hear about the bag. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, this is great news for my penis. <laughs> but does the Attorney General of the United States, Matt Whitaker, have anything for my testicles? <laughs> Don't worry. World Patent Marketing also had a product called Snowballs, cooling underwear designed to maximize fertility by lowering the temperature of your testicles and help you optimize the production of natural testosterone. Yes, snowballs make you more fertile, assuming you can find a woman willing to have sex with your ice-cold junk. <laughs> Now, Frosty the Snowman. Wow. So how does a flim-flam man like Matt Whitaker become the top law enforcement officer of the United States? Well, obviously the same way you sell time travel, with a video. What if not only did the Mueller investigation end, what if Robert Mueller was never born? <laughs> also, maybe, don't have Eric? Wall Street said we couldn't do it. So did Albert Einstein. Way to go, Einstein. Create your own future. Time travel. Bigfoot. Extra masculine toilets. Can Bigfoot stop Robert Mueller? 
on a time-traveling extra-masculine toilet? If you think this is a fantasy, you have some sick fantasies. Step into the 12-inch dimension. Matt Whitaker for Attorney General of the future. We have the technology. Technology powered by Jesus. Jesus.